Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Media Mondays. Uh, Cynthia Mallard here. Uh, glad you guys could uh, come back for another week. Uh, just of topics. We were talking all things uh, media from print, uh, PR, public relations, of course, uh, journalism, online, social media, uh, all of it, right, for Media uh, Monday. So listen, um, today we're going to do, it's going to be a really quick uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, public speaking and, and really um, the three main points that you need to be considering or including in your public speaking addresses. Uh, I know we've talked public speaking before, uh, but I've never done um, maybe an in-depth uh, partial components uh, for your public speaking engagements, right? So um, before I get there, uh, before we start on that tutorial, I would appreciate it, guys, if you would subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's there, Studio Set Stage, with me, Cynthia Mallard. Of course, you'll see a lot more Media Mondays uh, tips, along with Thesbian Thursdays tips. And of course, you know, uh, my podcast with my partner, uh, Mark Dean, uh, Studio Set Stage, with me, Cynthia Mallard, and and Mark Dean. So uh, a whole lot of resources, guys, uh, that you can use just to uh, further yourself in your career or just, you know what, something that you can just use uh, to brush up on your skills while we're in the middle uh, of this crazy uh, pandemic, right? So we're all trying to improve ourselves, uh, including me. Um, when I you know, speak about um, my career and the things that I've done. And, I, you know, I put out the tips that, you know, it, it's just about uh, reminding myself also uh, of the things that I've spent 20 years on and then reminding myself of the things that you guys have spent your time in doing and, and giving me the feedback on. So uh, I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. And I hope that uh, again, that uh, these tips are, are helping you just a little bit, okay? So, okay, so we got all that out the way. You have subscribed, right? I hope so. Uh, leave a comment also, okay? Uh, if it helps, if it doesn't help, and any other feedback is totally uh, welcome, okay? So listen, um, many people I have uh, encountered always ask me, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to do public speaking. Uh, I wouldn't know where to start, right? So I get that all the time. Um, sometimes I get it and you would not believe it. Uh, sometimes I get it in um, <laughs> the weirdest place I've ever got it is the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, I, go figure, right? Um, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much. And um, I have been blessed to do it in my life uh, professionally um, and, you know, informally. So um, it just feels good uh, to be on, be able to pass on uh, the information that I do have. So um, let me just real quick, um, when you are thinking about, you know, public speaking, you have an engagement to go to uh, and you have a, a particular topic. Let me just be basic. Keep it simple, okay? Before we get into our points, just keep it simple. Uh, most times people want to go overboard. You've got this uh, elaborate uh, speech or whatever it is in your mind, in the back of your mind. I'm going to be this wonderful, great public speaker, better than Tony Robbins, better than uh, Oprah Winfrey. And it's okay, right, to say, yes, I, I am going to be good. I'm going to knock this out, you know, out the ballpark. Uh, but a lot of times we add unnecessary bells and whistles, okay? Um, effective public speaking is simple. It's straight to the point, right? It's in and out. Uh, it's clear and it's concise. And it's where a third grader would be able to understand it. Wow, right? Third to fifth grader uh, would be able to understand it. So it doesn't matter how complicated uh, that speech is, it has to be relatable, clear, concise, and understandable, okay? So let's use, um, uh, most times, let me, let me go back. Uh, most times, uh, public speaking is nothing but um, I like to say an essay paper um, spoken out loud. So I'll say it again. Um, public speaking on topics is nothing but 
an essay spoken out loud. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> when I first heard that, I was like, yeah, that was like 20, 20, 20 plus years ago. But it's true. It is very, very true. So um, you've got your statement. Maybe your statement is, uh, let's use uh, cheetahs are great hunters. Okay, let's just use that sentence, right? Uh, cheetahs are great hunters. Okay, so you've got your, your statement. You've got your topic, right? Um, so just like in an essay paper, uh, you want to validate uh, that statement, that declarative statement, right? You want to uh, convince your audience that whatever your topic is, it's true. Yeah. So you want to find three things that would support that topic. So we said cheetahs are great hunters, right? Um, so your first, so think about three points, three points that would support that. So let's just say one of our points is um, cheetahs have great camouflage okay so that's one of our points um let's say a second point is cheetahs are able to run very very fast so that's our second point so first point um they have great camouflage uh second point they are able to run very fast right um and then uh how about the third point uh maybe they have they have great night vision right so our three points to support um our statement that cheetahs are great hunters are that um they have great camouflage so they're able to what hide from their prey sneak up on their prey uh very quickly uh without being noticed uh we said what cheetahs run very fast right so they can catch their prey. Um, they have great night vision. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> uh, but um, if that's your third point, it supports your statement, right? They're able to really feast uh, at night when all of the animals are asleep, possibly. Uh, you get my point. And then the last thing, you have a summary where you bring the statement and all of your supporting uh, facts together. So you have five points. Your statement, uh, the three points that support that statement, and then a wrap up, a summary of everything you just talked about. Um, there you go. There is your public speaking. Um, there's your speech. There it is in a nutshell. Clear, concise, clear and concise. Um, a third grader or fifth grader could understand that. Um, that's the number one thing. Keep that in mind. Um, once you have mastered uh, the basics, the basics in, in public speaking and, and how to present, uh, then you can throw in a little, uh, you know, bells and whistles and, you know, um, testimony, that type of thing or whatever. But when you're first starting out, start with an essay. Start with an essay, uh, possibly with your three points and your summary, right? Write it out. That's how it would be. Your mission statement, your three points that support, and then your summary uh, which wraps up everything that you have talked about, right? There you go. Okay, guys, listen, I loved talking about that tip. Uh, be sure to leave a comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down, okay? Feedback. Love you guys. And please, please subscribe, okay? I always say I need your numbers, okay? Uh, talk with you next week.